The class seven is the jellyfish. It's not the jellyfish you've seen on TV. It's a different jellyfish. We think the head of the jellyfish is about two meters in size. We think the tentacles hang down are about three to five meters in size, varying and depending on which one you're looking at. You can see these stills are taken from different jellyfish. You can see this jellyfish, the tentacles look very, very long. On this one, they look shorter compared to the head. As you can see, the nodules on the tentacles light up. And again, this light appears to us to go from head to tail and pulse and light up the nodules as it goes. Also, sometimes it looks like, like an automaton or something with like, a, uh, like an alien movie where it's got like the tail kind of hanging out, like it's seeking something. And sometimes it looks like it's a jellyfish in the sky. It seems to undulate in, as it moves. We have seen these take direct flight paths. Uh, even yesterday, for the first time, we had two in formation. We've never seen that before. We chased down one of those two and it deviated its flight path as we approximated. And then it elevated directly straight up as in directly vertical. So the class seven is very hard to image. And at distance, it looks very similar to the class six uh, and also the class eight at distance. So um, what you're gonna see is it's kind of, I'll call it swimming in uh, through the sky. There aren't a lot of exotic colors. There is reflectivity, but the, like, that color you see right there is very akin to the class six when it's not emitting high energy or whatever it's doing. So when it's not vibrating. So we don't know what that means. Uh, and you can kind of start to see now the tentacles hanging down as it moves. Uh, in IR, they're very obvious. They're less obvious in EO. So we have multiple indications that this is a real object um, that is not man-made and that it is flying through our airspace uh, and does want to avoid us.